Da, 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 da. It's time for another surprise. I don't really know filming this how well that rainbow animated in post, but I sure tried my best. Yo, what's up guys, Sam here, and Apple has a spring surprise up their sleeve. I am very excited for this one. We're gonna jump into what it likely is, when it's coming, which is like as soon as next week. Plus on top of that, Apple has done another heartbreaking discontinuation, eliminating one of their most revered products. Not really, but we have a lot to talk about. Drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe for more so that you're always stay up to date on the latest Apple news. And may I add that you should tap that bell button. And of course, check out the Genius Bar YouTube channel. It's the weekly podcast I do with John Prosser. The newest episode is out and it's a ton of fun. All right, so first off guys, you know, I don't come to tell you this news proudly and uh, I, I'm really having a tough time. I can't even make eye contact with the camera for this one, but we've had a new Apple discontinuation and it's worse than anything that we've ever seen discontinued. It's worse than them discontinuing the iPods a few years ago. This is the third product that has been discontinued in recent history from Apple, starting with the iMac Pro, then going to the full-size HomePod, and today, well, accessories have met their end. I don't know who was looking at these and discovered this, but MacRumor saw it first that these Space Gray iMac accessories that launched with the Space Gray iMac Pro back in 2017, they are only available while supplies last. Apple has used this language each and every single time they have discontinued something. Other times they were a bit more prominent about like, hey, this is like straight up discontinued. But considering that this happened at like 1 p.m. on a Friday, this feels like somebody just kind of noticed it at Apple and was like, wait, um, Jim, uh, t Tim, wh why, do, why do we sell these accessories for a computer we don't make anymore? A couple months ago, the iMac Pro was gone and these have just been on the store and considering that Apple just announced new magic accessories, especially like with Touch ID built into the keyboard, these really don't make sense at all. At all, they don't make sense at all. And Apple says they're available while supplies last. So, like anybody else, when they're trying to get rid of something would discount it, Apple's just like, nope, no discounts, <laughs> full price. Oh, we're not making them anymore and they haven't been produced for years? Yeah, but you're gonna give us $200 for the keyboard. It's just gonna happen. Obviously, I will not be buying these because, well, um, I've got them right here for this iMac Pro, but I am so ready, guys. Guys, we're a week from today when I'm recording this is when the new iMac will be on this desk and I am hyped, okay? But yeah, I mean, these are like, they're, they were cool accessories. I love that they're color matched, but with Apple not selling a space gray computer, like in this regard, uh, it do don't make sense. So there, buy them if you want. I wouldn't buy these. I wouldn't recommend these at all. But listen, if this guy's not gonna sit here and tell you the truth, then I will. He ain't been using protection. He's been raw dogging everything out there, all right? And he's caught them all, as they say. He's gotta start being safe online. He's gotta use we, uh, my accent went away, but he's gotta use WeVPN. Listen, you guys know WeVPN. They're the guys that came from all the other VPN companies doing sketchy stuff with your data to create a fundamentally better product that was one of the best, fastest, and most reliable options on the entire Entire market. And recently I've heard some birds chirping outside, which means that it's spring and WeVPN has launched their spring sale for the two years plan, which gets you 73% off and two months for free at only $2.69 a month. This gives you access to all their premium features, over 50 server locations around the world, and even the ability to unblock content from Netflix, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, and so much more. And when you enter the code IUPDATE at checkout, you get an additional 10% off. So my challenge is this, whether you been using a different VPN for years, ew, yuck, or this is your first time hearing about a VPN, head over to wevpn.com slash iUpdate today if you trust me, if you like what I do here, and start staying safer online. Almost forgot my water, which reminds me, there's been some, some drippage from, no, that was a bad segue, uh, but there was a really cool new survey that's been surfacing and floating around uh, that I thought was interesting with a couple of actually really fascinating data points. So this company called Cell Cell, no, not sell, sell, not sell, 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 sell.com. Love the name, guys, just so great. Basically, they do surveys every so often, and they did a recent one for 3,000 people, which isn't like the largest sample size, but it's also not too tiny. And the focus of this survey was Apple's April event, and specifically the products that were announced there. And in the survey, I actually learned a decent amount about like AirTag, and especially like the iMac colors. We, we sort of have a view of like the most and least popular ones, which is kind of interesting. They talk about for the AirTag, how six in 10 out of survey respondents said they were gonna buy it, which, 
I don't know. That These are like Apple fans, I'm sure, answering the survey in the first place. So that makes sense. If you're like into Apple, that 60% of people could be interested in a $29 accessory, I buy it. I know I bought the four pack and I actually really like AirTag. And they also talked about like iPhone 13 features. Uh, apparently Touch ID is the most anticipated thing coming this year, just edged out the 120 hertz display by a couple percent. I though found the organization of iMac colors by far the most fascinating because like looking at seven colors, there will be clear winners here. There will be clear winners. Not everybody is going to get the yellow or the red. And uh, I just wanted to sort of show you the, the numbers and break them down because they also probably reflect the stock. So in order, blue and silver were by far the most popular, both around 30%. Then it drops down significantly to green at 13%. I, I couldn't actually believe that green was the third most popular. Purple at just 9%, yellow at seven, pink at four, in orange, barely over 3%. So the least popular colors, yellow, pink, and orange, the most popular colors, blue, silver, and green. And then purple's kind of in the middle, but I thought that was interesting. Like orange probably didn't even need to be made, but it is part of the Apple logo. So I get that's why it's there. And I actually think the orange doesn't look that bad. I'm just, you know, kind of reflecting on this and seeing these numbers. I'm like, man, I'm glad I switched my channel logo from orange to, ye oh, yellow's only like twice orange. Well, you know, I'm still working on my channel colors, you know, maybe I should just pick blue and blue and silver. Just let's, let's be boring. Let's not have any fun. No, no fun anymore. It's they, the survey said, sell, sell told me. On a completely unrelated note, please wish me luck obtaining an iMac next week. I may or may not have missed pre-orders and I may, or may not have, uh, don't have an iMac for sure yet. Um, please send help. But yes, while the new iMac and iPad Pro with M1 both release on Friday, May 21st, Apple could be working on a different surprise for earlier in the week, uh, earlier next week on Tuesday, May 18th. Apple is known to drop things out of the blue sometimes. Like we got AirPods Max, you know, in December of last year, even though we had like the November Mac event and other points like in August of last year, just out of nowhere, we got an iMac, which was kind of weird. It's like, why were these released outside of events? So my pal Luke, who makes a ton of really cool Apple videos, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, you should, I'll link it down below, recently tweeted something a bit odd. He tweeted May 18th, out of nowhere, out of the blue with no context. And I was like, I've got to find out what this date means because I think I might know what it means, but I don't know what it means. So I got to find out and, and, and I gotta know what it means. So I slid into his DMs. It was like, dude, I gotta know right now. Like, what is this date that you just tweeted out? And he was like, something is happening with Apple next week. But I'm like, hey, Luke, you don't usually share stuff. Like, how confident are you? And he was like, dude, I'm real confident in this. Uh, I'm not confident enough to shave my eyebrows. I did verify. But he said, you know, he feels pretty good about this information. And when I pushed him on it, well, he told me what he thinks it'll be. According to Luke, it's AirPods 3 and Apple Music Hi-Fi. And if it was just Luke saying this, like he doesn't have a track record, he's not really shared anything like this before, I wouldn't be covering it. But here's the thing. Uh, not only have a number of other sources heard that AirPods 3 are coming very soon alongside this upgraded version of Apple Music, just today in the Android version of Apple Music, there's a beta that came out and it literally talks about lossless quality and how much data it will consume. Like Apple has confirmed that Apple Music lossless quality is happening and it seems to be happening sooner rather than later. And I've even heard from a credible source that I trust that AirPods are coming in the coming weeks. Now here's the thing. I am a bit sus of the May 18th date and here's why. Um, Apple actually has something else pretty big already happening early in the morning on that day, on May 18th. That's when the embargo lifts for iMac reviews. So like the Marquez Brownlees, um, Verges, like New York Times, whoever Apple sent the new iMac to, that's when they can publish their video on the morning of May 18th. And we know this from John Prosser, who's got really good track record. And let's just say that I, I really believe him that this is when the iMac reviews are coming. It, I, it's gonna be May 18th. I believe AirPods 3 are coming very soon. I do, but I don't see Apple launching a, an entirely new product and an upgraded version of Apple Music on the same day as iMac reviews. So I think it's possible, but personally, my bets are on maybe a little bit later, a week or two later, 
or perhaps sometime this summer, even after WWDC on June 7th. I don't have any specific details of a launch date myself. What I do know is that we have seen countless images of these, that they have been leaked extensively, and that Apple is likely just sitting on them. Like they're probably already produced, they're already done. They're just not here yet, yet being the emphasis. Maybe it's next week, maybe it is May 18th, and that's when we see a surprise release from Apple. Personally, I think it might come a bit later. That's just, that's what I'm saying, all right? We'll see, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't have any insider info that's making me say it's not that date. I'm just saying it would be confusing for Apple to try to get a ton of press about the iMac and have everybody looking at uh, new AirPods. Like, those seem like they, they don't work together. Until then, I will keep you updated on Twitter at iUpdate. Of course, follow Apple Track as well for all your latest Apple news and support WeVPN. Links down below. I've been Sam. I hope you guys are doing well. It is the weekend. Hope you're having a good Saturday because that's when this should come out. <laughs> it definitely came out on Saturday. Anyway, hope you guys do well. Love you. I'll see you in my next video.